Unlike a lot of other poets, I don't talk much between my poems. So everything you hear from now on will probably be part of a poem, and you won't even hear their titles or anything, just running one into the other. OK? Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bonny trail. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bonny trail. Giant space bunnies from Saturn cover the earth with strawberry jam and eat it on toast. Stry don't slip, skin don't rip, fry don't flip, feel don't grip. Fist in sardo, fist in sardo, fingers yeast bubbles flung against hound's memory. Could you hold this lava while I tie my boot? Rivers, veins, and compass sun. Where a cat's a weasel, cars transform to 10-inch cubes. Us regular juxtaposers, a wind tumor and sun rot, tire shard, shoulder, lap another cool one. Yoga of two-leg stools and sprung chairs, wrist through pinball machine, beer through bladder. Mileage won't wash out. Takes a small stomach to eat moon. Irresistible trash whistling dogs into traffic. Morning air, thick with steam, traffic, rain, and mercury is flat, fast, fluent low visual homogenizer, setting up so body and mind can't possibly agree, but warm thinking swamping. Thanking central eject, thanking cancer as an honest reaction, too scared to say, hemophiliac in a knife shop, shit engraved and coming home gift wrapped, forgotten how to neighbor, to radiate from, not ossify, to be resilient is wisdom, wear thin. We'll sell our whiteness elsewhere. Our bone amplifier, our two red and sprung. The dark that grows each time a wife is beaten. A dummy's bayoneted, an infant's raped, hides its name. Is waiting for its planetary desert. After a couple single murders, you start to need more. Dank, fast, and so cold it stings. A needle of it shot in the throat, the groin, the heart hijacking each chakra, treating the brain like Patty Hearst, as we're all dumb, spoiled, rich kids, aching for purpose. I say there is this vision. The vision is of death, is of the world ending, the world rising. We are not to be seen as things. We are not things. We are gelatinized force. We are gravity trapped by light. We are a process. A process that seems distinct, seems flaked, seems to have parts. We reduce rocks to thingness, discriminate as rocks are holier, as cows are so good at being cows. People want to be anything but and so are nothing without the harmony train to disenforce gravity's crash screen. One short, long breath. Babel is undow. Simple universal binary of unity, a void, the splendor between. To break a bone, to be pregnant and never let it go. To be that baby's sky and raw materials, food that's I and not I. What's above process is within process, thinning process with thought. Data consumption keeps roiling, twisting as if insomniac. Need to know, need to be eluded, to be other than. The process gets tired, bored is homing, processing, seeing, diving, mistaking, asleep, can't change, and isn't, ising, and wasing, will have been had, repeated without recognition and or with without contradicting emotions moving out, energy finding, losing it all too easily, and hence colors, forms, machinery, rape, and arrows. The big secret is taking the bones out. Sky lounging in a slow bowl, half light softly as the migratory breeze of butane, insulin, and cobra powder. Like the Empire State walking along the bottom, rising so slowly the breakers swoon. Its unremitting height peeling back in shadow, a jungle perpendicular to the jungle. Where radio waves are wary and moss. Where all sex is aerial and spears are sharpened with jaguar moons, million amber so what's. When the army wants in your mouth, what can you do? When they say your gravity is folk art, and that's bad, can you make the wire cutters an excited bird? Are your white corpuscles more than flower cartoons? If you came across your scent in the middle of the river, which way would you run?
riding my iguana cycle through this whipped yeast bun. Brush sway berries I wouldn't expect in this light. Obviously pulled, no mutants, perfect coat rack. Jet stopped by an acre hunk of just used soap I take two inches from, whose spears are shorter and hinged. 27 people with their suits on inside out with brightly shrieking threads and subvisual feathers, contractual jazz, like cooking rice on Jupiter, time clamps down. When it falls out the window, I run three flights, but it's neither there nor on the way or something missing, like my pants, or it's 90 degrees in December in the middle of Minneapolis. I've never been. I'm living here or there. Something the past would change into. Had a thought it. 100-foot cube of seven-veined marble, keeping half an ear above the surface. Higher mix of armor and whole grains, stores that tend themselves. No moving parts, no sudden Egypt. Pluck it from the chest and in a full arm dark plasm potato sack, this gravitational NN to the floor. Carotic slow mo, the sound of impact. A third body trying to jump intact out of me, swifter and clearer, isolating the taste buds with a chorus of dog whistles. How trains mate. Wildebeests on quaaludes, catching trout with masking tape. Anticipating steam October, stay home and smoke fish. Immersed in the rain, we are fish. As the land is one fish skull, the sea totally fish. And we string our dead brethren, swimming their life to the earth, to the sun remembered in faith, pressed and strident moon. A cold dive at the right time will put you face to face with earth, who sleeps three days at once and bursts with clouds of writhing food pulling us through the shallows, when sea earth closes, when we are too many in one skin, and the sun, the sharp stone aching through to another year, or throttled by our clumsy hunger, rises like a white deer, many strokes from shore. A tree with schizophrenia, a tree with conflicting opinions, a tree allergic to its own needles, a tree standing on its head, a digital tree, statistically significant, a moon-worshipping tree, a tree that talks to dogs, a tree in the proboscis of the mosquito who just bit me, a new bomb that leaves a 20-mile radius festering with trees. How to proposition trees, trees who shattered Picasso's eyes, Trees preferring tubas, a steady greenish cast to the galaxy's center, ginkgos who are ears in another dimension, retarded alders, metallurgical oaks nailing the earth shut with bitter heat, sequoias who traded sex for longevity, moss, the liberated brains of long extinct trees, squirrels of karma, lightning, the jealous suitor, chainsaws, a mathematical impossibility. They cannot explain why my head is a radio. Happens more often than most folks know. Misdirected evolution, unless radio protein instead of librium. I can shift it away. Acorn and squirrel's cheek, always larvaic, tuning corkscrew leakage of a development. Or how my vocal cords tie in. So flaccid and dexterous, I've been offered half a million for freedom now or visual security when I die or how the station chosen is antenna, antenna proximity flux dependent. Sometimes they just take turns, knowing satellites by handle, nerves by neural translation delicacy, occasional choices, but I've already been punched out and scandalized for opening my mouth too flexibly. There's no American wilderness where I can find peace. Cities divert so much attention I can't drive or run heavy machinery. Last night, Last week, I climbed Mount Shasta. Thick storms from the coast, the desert, and an ionospheric dagwood for the AM and short wave to rebound interminably. Only clear above me, Lama Serietti root, updraft funnel, sheer white. Never told my score on the ESP test. New ventriloquism, instinctually Klein bottle breath cops. How even my blood conducts sound. It's, it's when the face muscles atrophy. 
the cloying emollient surround of lingering freon, sinking shock soft parallel of four infinities correspondence doorway. A warehouse floor full of shallow pans of water replaying the great battles of history and innocuous acts of transnational charity. An inescapably wide grandparent offering two dozen varieties exploding cigars. A connoisseur's monoxide, flower petal legacy, thousand-membered phys ed classes dreaming impossible romps through fallen leaves, unfiltered sunbolts, pre-recorded chattering menage of bluebirds, chipmunks, something profound and obscene like a badger or basso profundo, electronically compounded typewriter pools. From voice to standardized print, from frame to upper volta, pleasure flooding egg obdurance, how only a third generation inbred can know the Gita of desired results. Twelve fingered fluorescent cord, fire warming pond of whale's inner jaw, varieties of five, of possession. You always make a bad impression, chattering the only rocks known, streams of rosary. Once a month, the moon is close enough. Once a month, blood brings eczema, blandness. Curing this is rebirth. Curing rebirth is pollution, minute instructions, a radio signal macerating northern lights, accurate diagnosis and precise measurement. Father, remove this cup from my eyes so I may eat this rice before starvation's locked doors turn this flame to stone. Lariats of love and mayonnaise cleansing all imperfection from this decrepit mill town. The most widely used drug in America is faith, a 60-cycle hum pledging allegiance natty dread frenetic tango with hundred pound potato sacks. One thought, one unstifled yawn of Gabriel. Matrix quaalude eros. Every kitchen genuflect like gas Jedi. Every heart shaped ibis beak dredging antique rivers pop tops. I think these children, trees, neon, and a land electricity forgot. History knocks twice leaving red ants on the welcome mat. I am Moscow who escaped when the tuna was open when the price of redwoods rose nine cents. An armada of kitchen knives from the monochromatic sheikdoms of Malay, where at the root of each river is a large jagged field of rare spices and transparent flowers. Once a month, frisbees fill the air like pregnant bees, unconscious revelation semaphore sucking off the messengers of amnesia. Looks like lava, smells like cheese, functions as a wallet. Looks like a wallet, smells like grandmothers on a Saturday night, functions like a bread knife in the woods. Smells like the woods, tastes like a black cat in the sun. Tastes like the sun, feels like a river of vitamin E, functions like a sandstone t-shirt, Sings like a paycheck from McDonald's, eats like rain gear. Wags like a book, has hands like a corn dog, no food for three days, no wine since Istanbul the vegetable orchestra. Tubla, samovar, languid starburn in an Arctic lake, kerosene rose. Someone takes the bone and runs. A whisper of corn. Someone takes the spaceship, removing the space within, trying to make the clouds smooth skin, green, difficult to look at without a scary hand. Trying to make the scary hand remember open pits of giant insects, operating on same with scared as a coyote in traffic efficiency. A science built on that. A dance from random sampling, crouching for power, eating in thin, dense strips, eating a hundred miles with one hand, a hundred hands slapping like aluminum kittens turning into warm washcloths. Someone stops the news, knows we've forgotten and can't see through to the two calligraphic and quick switch hitters. How much that cherry worth? Oh, he stop out every third day. They no mess him auto with, just dip in bird ink geometrics, dodeca burrito, armadillo heart. 
where no high pine could hide every day here three months gone like a newspaper on edge inland porpoise slow through this sand will pull a false history a stew will shelve running into running into himself how many times these fluid hinges hang him up how his knuckles fillet or terraform the natural remainder semi-spheroid curtains of milk can't count them cause they're gone can't leave with both legs can't sing till you've loved the rock to sleep sleep bad for the knees and eloquence more like an airplane that way gets funky gets unexpected shows the light crack a near door or a distant crevice hungry net gone someone confronts his medulla and moves to a busy street corner someone confronts the earth and thinks the sky a bowling ball a picasso gutter a bacon and seeking all breakfast we no longer cook by frying by external combustion it's the slow simmer, sealing in all the natural juices, the microwave bombardment, cauterizing from within, ripping cell walls into overdone homogeneity. What's eating you, Doc says? What happens when protein can't get out? When I see my baby pinballing around the walls and I can't leave my seat? What are next fall's colors is the question, not why aren't the unemployed bringing down buildings. That hope cheese, that faith in the only salvation, success upward via other backs and skulls. People is surplus. Potential is surplus. The technology plan for the moon can repopulate an earth clear cut with radiation, replanted with single species, laboratory grown and controlled. Only their science knows what I am worth. Only their science knows how soon I'm done. The birds were three feet ago. The stairs won't let us sleep. Stomachs serene and patient. The walls a blaze of history wise with spikes and peelers tend us like goat herds with wings one valley ahead perched on impossible shale long ago the ants invented music and wind half blind is never far from stone we are like spiders seeing through our feet eating stored memory a gap of hot silver comes for one of us demanding birth and card tricks as an arrow between string and target, we weightless ones gymnast and tangle without disturbing the stomach clocks and traffic light. Only an insinuation of sweat, sensuality. Like the body remembering what it did seven body years ago, passing itself on an outbound train. Momentum doesn't care which way you take it, puts the stress on hips and shoulders, while the hands and feet are worshipped in swamps of silicon, parasitic rubber and burlap. And the stones, turquoise or smoke carnelian, are channels of obligation. Like the hat size of everyone who's rented this apartment, woven in kinetic bank shots and chanted through the ripening floorboards. Uh. F wall. Face, feces, focus, fish. Flesh fascist, fascia, sift effervesce, sephiral, Stephanie ceramitis, reef surf freezer bag, referential elf, leaf beam or shelf floor escape, cafe in scope, souffle, hassenpfeffer foster child, fallible, fur phallical, flens, semi rig, phonic if, metaformed kef, freak meat, aphrodite, morphine, oaf, carafe, freshet, Ferret, foxy, false leaf, no daffodil. Hormonica, rich, few, phaser, gift, horse, phage. Furlough, fabric, bat, graffiti tree. Feral, dual, heffalump, scree. Fellaheen, mocha, flake, lies, some ziff. Springfoot, toffee. Mouth, train, fever. Shingle, far, rifle, psych, vol. Riff, raff, gallimaufry. Poof. Beefalo, gull. Semaphore, cough. Giraffe, fragmenium, wolf, film, flan. Forn, furtive, ferris, why, isle. 
This next poem reads the same, it's a square, reads the same horizontally and vertically, and every line is an anagram of every other line. Escapade. Sistop kas dia ak peskat ted sky ada kipes da ipes gepadaska. I have a friend who lives up in Seattle in a house that sits right on top of I-5, and the road is like a strong aural presence. Discovering the 5 a.m. freeway rumbling airlessly over my head like a star cruiser, graceless as an erection in slow motion or a waterfall of beer cans with legs and mutant parachutes, some of the rocks opening to grab some collapsing like photophobic flash bulbs or paper bags allergic to glass. This highway has no neck to screw my face onto. Like bread dough, I'm spreading this German shepherd as wide as the living room, folded up a couple times with phone books and rabbit ears. This highway is an adhesive tampon stuck to me in bleeding gasoline, all my lice bailing out and up as the rain refuses to touch its jagged teeth to my bones, dissolving by repeating the weather forecast in languages like muscatel, cleft palate. By the time I'm drugged enough with caffeine, sobriety, and food, this highway will be sleeping in the plaster, the blind pink wallpaper waiting like magnetic ectoplasm to use my shoulders as an aircraft carrier, little tires on all my fingers and toes, my knees are bare ignition wires. My eyes have no high beam left. This no lead runs through me like generic beer, and my room's Huck Finn's raft on this sea lumpy with thousand-dollar frogs. A 78 Volari is my razor. A 67 Vista Cruiser toasts my bread. Rambler ashtray, a bug in my throat. Surrounded by pink and yellow soft compacts carrying my bed through the asphalt, I'm calm as secretaries on diet pills, running through Earl Scheib, shouting the gospel of Iacocca. Blessed are the paved, and on the seventh day he tuned up. It, undefined, drops onto the dinner table. A ten-year-old's ogre, brightly sparkling and invisible. A miniature explosion, like a centerpiece, dried in silence. What is inside it? Pirouetting dancers. From their necks sprout sudden trees, sequoia, and fir. The pork chop has become an alien metal. I am smaller than a pea. The chop is higher than I can leap. I am smothered in a dollop of whipped potatoes and wake up on a desert island in the Pacific. From the single palm trees sprout hundreds of cascading strings. A giant harp whose undreamt of music multiplies me into a crowd of strangers at lunch hour in Chicago's loop. Purposely, we remove our coats and expertly disassemble a commuter train. Till every car is a pulsing, multi-shaped entity our hands dive into. And we are each a dozen species of animals in a landscape that has many climates at once. The green hills crest over us like surf, and the fear of our bolting is unassuaged by our faith in the green, bloody loam that will never be hollow or cold, as long as the stars continue to explode deep within the earth in its trillion cells. This tearing out, this leaving behind, this regimen of showers and speed and sleeping on sandpaper, these nagging lights and viola strings. Scouring this street with combs, a new comb each body length, renewing the knees and moonstruck pyramid. Wide bovines caroming along with no one inside these 20 concentric shirts pulled through each other like an illusionist winking rainbow. Computerized Rosetta Stone dreaming I had all of Chicago's phone calls running through me and none left empty-headed, with the patience of turquoise, where who was stuck in a position of a discussion with who peeled away and withered. These gone men, these multiplicative cylinders, patient, erratic, loquacious, like hay underwater, like simple passions pressed into newsprint and jumping out before the coin hits home, 
it, its own shadows exploding with unseen thighs, all flapping together like a thousand rubber geese bouncing off drum heads. And the Play-Doh trout basking themselves into sterile dinnerware so beautiful and compelling cabinets would fill small apartments. People would invent ways of eating food in the air. Extra hands would sprout, or tribes with the same taste eating for one another. A stick of soft butter in a thousand equal slices. The steel that did, the wrist that burst in lightning, peeling from a wide bay joggers punctuate like carp gods, like a row of knitting a sweater bridging here and that gray-haired island, skin as sharp autumn roastling, paramecium on parade, while the barking dilemma, too learned and liberal, not wanting to hold it at night, not wanting to come down at night, not wanting to oink it in the soft whip night that must be refrigerated, blossoming back and melting brook shots, eyeless ribbon swords, lost in murmuring, always that town, this alley, the door beneath the heap of fresh trash, the silk forceps, the corpuscles brimming like maybe one more dawn, the concentric relativism, cool, spicy, syncopated decorous spasms of relaxation, spasms of improper reception, and the sire silk forceps stirring me like ancient alien septics, like the lightning nerve jive of another high vocal spine shelled in and enveloping my own. That is not for sale. That is boiling and ready to eat. That can we take out the third strongest stranger's daughter, Mooncliff, hung up and out, but hung, window shingle, stomach roads, taking them back through them gull bursts, them pseudo-atomic dragonflies that wanted so badly, so poorly. These ceramic strings like papal skulls of sugar shale that the earth undoes in hermetic comfort in a gone omnivorous night. Here, nothing drops, nothing continues, Nothing comes more than once, nor longer desires my name as mirror rock knife mountain, anal gravity taking it home, prime to when stars were rumors, when planets could barely stand. Thank you. <laughs>